Good afternoon, Dorothea Fitterling. Thank you for joining us at Germany Innovations. So please tell us about DAAD and its involvement in Germany Innovations. We are a um, non-governmental organization working basically with public funds. Our annual budget is approximately 250 billion um, euro that uh, is quite uh, substantive funds. We um, support international exchange, that is we identify um, the elite, young and more advanced researchers uh, abroad to, and invite them to come to study and do research in Germany, uh, as well as uh, to find the German of advanced uh, students and researchers um, to go to elite institutions abroad. And this is basically our portfolio and in addition uh, we um, support the internationalization processes of German higher education, uh, partly um, if in cooperation with the Deutsche Welle, which you might be familiar with as a uh, student um, uh, of media. And, um, uh, with Australia uh, we just set up a new um, uh, scheme which I hold to be of uh, great interest and that, that's the purpose of my being here. And tell us more about this scheme. This scheme is uh, interesting because it um, uh, f comprises the support uh, of mobility of uh, research groups um, in Australia and in Germany uh, who work together on a similar research topic and uh, we facilitate um, the mobility so those researchers can meet, can work together, um, younger researchers can have the experience in, um, uh, let's say in the German or in an Australian lab and um, if to our experience um, the benefits of programs of this type is very great um, in particular in view of the development of research topics um, from a very small scale project into a larger and bigger one. So who can apply and how do they apply for this scholarship? Under the de definition of junior researchers we would count um, master students with their thesis and upwards, onwards, let's say masters, PhDs and, and um, uh, postdocs. Um, if the application has to be done by a senior researcher and uh, he then includes the staff member in his team. And uh, so an Australian senior researcher would uh, then get co into contact with the German one and they both write an application and uh, seek the funding. So and hopefully they are successful. And on the Australian side it is um, the group of eight, uh, that's the number of the eight large Australian university who are involved and on the German side it's um, all of the German higher education institutions and also the non-university um, sector. Thank you very much.